विदेशी मुदल And it really requires a very serious media campaign. Cabinet of Ministers has approved loan repayments worth 2.6 billion US dollars in the first half of this year. In line with debt suspension plans, Cabinet spokesman Minister Bandala Gunawardana said. Addressing the weekly Cabinet press briefing on Tuesday, Cabinet spokesperson Transport and Mass Media Minister Bandala Gunawardana said, Sri Lanka will continue to repay multilateral loans from several organizations including the World Bank and Asian Development Bank. The loan repayments will include 2 billion US dollars in foreign loan repayments and 540 million US dollars in interest payments. President Raniel Wickremesinghe says the current tax policy in Sri Lanka is not a normal tax policy, but rather a rescue operation. He warned that if this process is disrupted, Sri Lanka will not be able to join the International Monetary Fund program and may lose the opportunity to do business with foreign countries. In addition to his comments on the tax policy, President Raniel Wickremesinghe also stated that the budget presented for the year 2023 in Sri Lanka is not an ordinary budget, but rather an operation to rescue the economy. The Board of Investment on Wednesday approved India's Adani Green Energy Limited $442 million initiative to set up two wind power plants in Mana and Poonarin. The wind power plant in Mana will operate at a capacity of 250 megawatt while the wind power plant in Poonarin will operate at a capacity of 100 megawatt. Following the BOI approval, AGEL will now enter into a power purchase agreement with the Salon Electricity Board. The two wind power plants of 350 megawatt are scheduled to be commissioned in two years and will be added to the national grid by 2025. To celebrate the 63rd birthday of the Emperor Naruhito, the ambassador of Japan to Sri Lanka Mizukoshi Hideaki hosted a reception at his residence in Colombo on February 23rd. Port Shipping and Aviation Minister Nimal Sirapala de Silva was the chief guest on the occasion. The reception was attended by the ministers, parliamentarians, senior government officials, members of the diplomatic community and other dignitaries from the public and private sector. Education Minister Dr. Suzel Primajayantha on Thursday commenced the distribution of school uniforms for the academic year 2023 at the Sapugaskanda Warehouse Complex. According to the Ministry of Education, 70% of the uniform material was donated by China and the other 30% was provided by local suppliers. President Raniel Wickremesinghe outlined a program to attract over 2 million tourists including those willing to spend $500 per day to make Sri Lanka a year-round tourist destination with measures to be taken to promote the destination. In a meeting with businessmen from the tourism industry in the Gaul district on Thursday, organized under the theme survival and overcoming challenges in the tourism industry, he said to achieve this goal a committee has also been appointed to implement the plan as soon as possible. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.